Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm so excited to share some pottery barn inspired DIYs with you, including pop pumpkins and jack o' lanterns that are going to transform your fall and Halloween decor. And we're going to do it all on a budget. But first, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor for today's video, Fitwell, who sent me two amazing pairs of shoes I just wanted to share with you. Before we jump into today's Pottery Barn dupes, I want to give a big shout out to Fitwell for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you're not familiar with Fitwell, they specialize in creating shoes designed to offer maximum comfort, support, and durability. Whether you're exploring the outdoors or simply on your feet all day, Fitwell has you covered with shoes that prioritize your feet health without sacrificing style. First, I want to highlight their women's hiking shoes. I've been using these on my daily hikes with my dogs and during nature walks with the kids from my home daycare. These shoes have been a total game changer. They're supportive, comfortable, and offer great grip, which is perfect for those uneven forest trails we often explore in the fall. The extra cushioning keeps my feet feeling good, even after a long day of being active outdoors. If you're someone who loves outdoor adventures or just needs a reliable walking shoe, I highly recommend giving these a try. Now, if you're looking for something a little more polished but still prioritizing comfort, Fitville's Briswalk Women's Elite Dress Shoes are fantastic. They're my go-to when, when I want to look put together but still want that all-day comfort. Whether I'm running errands, heading out for a meeting, or even when I want to dress up a little more for a casual night out, these shoes keep me, my feet happy without compromising style. You can find links to both of these shoes down in the description box below. Make sure to check them out and explore what Fitwell has to offer. They've got a fantastic range of shoes for all your needs. And don't forget to treat your feet this season. Now let's dive into the DIYs. Our first project is these gorgeous fall pumpkins inspired by Pottery Barn. You all know how pricey their decor can be, but I found these irregular shaped pumpkins at Dollarama for uh, five dollars and the smaller ones were 375 and i was able to make them over for large one for under six dollars and small one for around four dollars i used acrylic paint in custom mix of brown yellow red blue and white to get that perfect warm for colors i applied two coats and let them dry completely between each one you can add some flour or baking soda if you like to texture, but I kept mine smooth and the stems let them let them as they, I left them as they are because they have that perfect whimsical feel just like pottery barn. I painted the others in a cream color as well as a light beige color. But I did that off camera so I don't bore you with all the painting. And I just love how these turned out and they're perfect for my front porch. If you would like to check out how I decorate in my front porch, make sure you head on over to my decor uh, home channel. Also, I will link a green pumpkin that I DIY'd a while, last year up in the corner if you want to check out that one, how it turned out. Next, I wanted to recreate the stunning bronze cast iron branch from Potter and Barn. Instead of spending a fortune, I went to my garden, found a giant branch, and spray painted it with black and bronze and tink paint. I started with solid black base coat, then lightly went over it with bronze, and then followed by another light coat of black. This DIY was so easy, and I love how it turned out. It's going to look amazing in my Halloween decor this year. For our last project, we're tackling these iconic Pottery Barn jack-o'-lanterns. These can cost a small fortune, but I found some thrifty pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns that were perfect for this project. If you can't find thrifted ones, you can easily use craft pumpkins from Michael's or similar stores. For the paint, I mix brown, red, yellow, and white to create a custom terracotta color. I carved mine just like a real pumpkin using a marker to sketch the face and X exacto knife to cut them out.
I also cut out a hole at the back so I can add some lights. I'm just using string lights for the pumpkins. And now it's time to paint them and like to give them two good coats and you can use any sponge you want and as far as the paint like i said it's a custom paint so you just mix the colors until you reach the desired look that you're going for and also don't forget to if you are cutting out don't forget to paint inside the little mouth nose and eyes so no white shows while the first one was drying i took the time to paint all of my thrifted jack-o-lanterns that i got from the thrift store after two coats i let it half dry before sparkling flour over it to texture then dusted it off for a rustic age look I am obsessed how these turned out. I even went ahead and recreated the same look with all the jack-o'-lanterns that I picked up from the thrift store. I think these are going to look amazing on my front porch, especially when I pair them with the jack-o'-lanterns I created last year, which I again, I will link it in a corner for you to check it out. These DIYs were so much fun to make. I am thrilled with how they all came out. Whether you're recreating the pop pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, or bronze branch, these pottery barn dupes will give your Halloween decor a high-end look for way less. Don't forget to check out my other DIY videos, like I said, including last year's pumpkin decor and how I decorated my front porch this season. All the links are in the description box. And don't forget to check out the other links, especially for those Fitwell shoes I shared earlier. They're seriously the perfect blend of comfort and style, whether you're hiking this fall or dress or dressing up. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming DIYs. I've got tons of exciting um, content coming your way. Until next time, happy crafting and decorating. Mm -hmm.